Kishon Nudin Haji has asserted that his office will not bow down to intimidation and threats while executing his mandate. Speaking in Nairobi during a stakeholders meeting on formulating guidelines tailored at bringing consistency in the prosecution of election related offenses, Haji said they will be guided by facts and evidence. With only 138 days remaining for Kenyans to go to the polls, stakeholders in electoral justice gathered in Nairobi under the aegis of International Commission of Jurists to develop guidelines to streamline the prosecution of election-related offenses, including economic crimes committed in the context of elections. Other crimes include hate speech, gender-based violence, cybercrime, and computer misuse. It is here that the Director of Public Prosecution, Nordin Haji, emphasize the need for all election players to work together to ensure a free, fair and transparent election. The purpose of this compendium is to try and bring certainty, to try and bring uniformity, um, to also emphasize on the rule of law and due process. Haji, whose officers often come under accusations of politicizing the war on graft, sought to set the record straight as ODPP, we will continue to execute our mandate in accordance with the rule of law, without fear or favor, and guided by facts, evidence, and the law. While lauding the judiciary for appointing 118 magistrates to deal with election offenses cases, he urged them to expedite the hate speech cases. This is a great boost to our collective preparedness for elections. In the same spirit, I call upon all other agencies to embody the principles of coordination, collaboration and cooperation in their strategies to, to safeguard the rights of the citizens and hold persons who commit electoral offences accountable. The Commission hopes that the collaboration must be sustained. It is also our hope that the guidelines that are the subject of validation today will go a long way in enriching the framework for top-notch prosecution of election and election-related offenses. Law Society of Kenya President Eric Theory called for actualization of Chapter 6 of the Constitution on Leadership and Integrity. And so we must begin to have this conversation and ask ourselves as the various institutions that are mandated to implement and protect Chapter 6 of the Constitution, what can we do to ensure uh, that the candidates uh, that go before the voters are candidates that have high integrity, that reflect the values and aspirations of Chapter 6 of the Constitution. Other key players in the forum were the Independent Electron Boundaries Commission, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCC, the Independent Police Oversight Authority, Ipua, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Witness Protection Agency, Law Society of Kenya and the Registrar of Political Parties, Timothy Kipnosu, for Prime